So you want to update your uh, Mac to the latest operating system, which as of today is Mac OS 10.11, 10 uh, El Capitan. Um, so uh, you have to look up um, to see what kind of Mac you have. In this case, this is a test Mac. If you go to the Apple menu about this Mac, um, this is a late 2008, so this machine is supported. I have 8 gig of RAM. Uh, you need at least 2 gig of RAM. Um, and 8 gig of, of hard drive space. Um, so you can run uh, El Capitan uh, on uh, older hardware that you'd be surprised. Um, and I have some other tutorial videos on how to upgrade the hardware of your Mac, um, upgrading the memory and your hard disk uh, so that you get a faster hard disk and SSD solid state drive uh, would be very beneficial uh, when you're running El Capitan or Yosemite, but definitely for El Capitan, you want to make your machine as quick as possible and have ample memory. So, how do you update? Well, you might get a notification that pops up saying, you know, do you want to install um, El Capitan? Uh, if you don't, then you just go to the App Store, and it'll come up here in a moment. Uh, if you don't see El Capitan up here, just click on El Capitan, uh, or you can do a search for El Capitan. And there it is. So if you click on it, it'll tell you more about it. And you just click, it's a free update, so you just click the download button. You'll have to sign in with your Apple ID. You can create a free account uh, as well. Um, to download free apps and you click download and it will take a little while to download depending on your bandwidth um, and when it's fully downloaded um, it will launch automatically and you'll see the installer pop up so this should pop up automatically but if you want to know where this application is if you go to the finder Go to Applications, go to Install El Capitan. Now, um, I have instructions on how to make a bootable uh, El Capitan installer. Um, or you can just move this installer uh, to an external drive uh, if you want to save it. Because when you run this installer, after you run it, uh, and it's successful, then this installer will get automatically deleted. And they do that to save space on your computer. Well, it's about 6 gig, but it does take up a little bit of space. Um, so if you want to save that installer and you don't want to have to download it again, copy it off to an external drive or make a bootable external drive. So to run the installer, you just click Continue. Click Agree. Then select your drive, which is already selected, and click Install. And once you click Install, you'll see a status, and then your computer will reboot um, and finish the installation. It'll take a little while, but when it's fully done, you'll see the, the login window come back up. Okay, so we're going to run the installer, and we're going to come back to see how it did. We're going to click the restart button and uh, El Capitan is going to update. Um, we're going to go from Yosemite to El Capitan. It's going to get updated. Um, and then we'll be back to the login window of El Capitan. Okay, so we are back at the login screen after doing the El Capitan update. And we're going to log in. And when you log in for the first time, you'll be presented um, 
with uh, the Apple ID sign-in. So what you want to do is uh, proceed uh, to sign in with your Apple ID if you're using your Apple ID uh, with your Mac. If not, you can choose Don't Sign In for now, and you can always sign in later. If we go to About This Mac, Okay, and there you have it. Uh, we've upgraded to El Capitan. And what you want to do is go to the Mac App Store and go to Updates and make sure uh, there are no updates you need to apply. Uh, there might be some updates to um, like GarageBand, Keynote, Numbers, Pages, iMovie if you have those installed or if you have any other third-party apps uh, that need El Capitan compatibility you may have to update those and that's it well thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again next time